This is also a throwaway people involved have agreed not to comment on this and haven't told family yet. I'm sorry for how long this is. People in this story, me, my husband, my hubby's best friend we will call A, his wife which we will call C, other women we will call S. So recently A's wife C had made friends with S from work they both work in a hospital, S was new and had no friends she had recently moved to CA from OK after some what S called scary times happened to her at her last job. I haven't met her but my hubby has said that quite a few times a week him and his partner would have to go to the hospital to get a statement from someone and S had started to flirt with him after a few short weeks, to my husband at the time he just took this as innocent flirting and always laughed it off. S made a comment to C about their instant flirty connection and how long it would take him to ask her out, C had then told her that he made it well known he was married if he wore a band on his finger and him being kind and nice to someone doesn't mean an instant flirty connection she also told S she knew me and knew that never ever would my hubby ask out another woman while happily married with four kids, apparently S had a smug look on her face and just walked away after that. When she called me after work to tell me and because I'm suffering from postpartum not as bad now, it affected me a little bit and when my husband got home I practically demanded to know if he had been flirting with he which he told me he had never flirted with S and was only trying to be nice to her, that she must have taken it the wrong way, never once had her flirted with her and only laughed at her when she flirted with him. I believe him I could actually tell he didn't and I apologized. Over the next few weeks she continued to flirt every time he came into the hospital and over a few days would always asking when she should book a date in for their first date. He did tell us more than once that he was happily married and has needed to stop which she always laughed at always said I'm just playing around before laughing or C was always a witness to this happening and always texted me when something like this happened, and by the time my hubby would come home from work to tell me what S had been saying I always replied with I know C already told me. C even tried to talk to her and made it clear that she needed to stop or else she couldn't be friends with someone trying to ruin her friend's marriage. Apparently S said she would stop and for two weeks she seemed professional whenever my hubby had to go down to the hospital. Fast forward to the recent weekend S has started hanging out with our friend group not specifically me and husband and A and C but other friends from which they learned that was she was very much single and just trying to have fun apparently she flirted once or twice with some of the other husbands but that was all. I didn't think much of it at all. On Saturday me and hubby were supposed to be having a kid-free weekend and going to a small party at A and C's house st the last second I decided to stay home I wasn't really in the best mood and the whole day I had been just been feeling really down so I told my husband to go by himself. Stupid choice. Sometime yesterday afternoon C and A brought my husband home and he looked awful he could hardly look at me, looked like he had been crying for hours and I clearly could tell he was still hungover. A and C said that we needed to sit down and talk and after helping my husband upstairs and into our bedroom, me C and A sat down to talk about the nights before events. C had invited S to the party thinking everything was going to be okay and at first it was S stayed away from my husband my hubby thought drank quite a lot and at some point him and one of our other friends decided to go outside and try to do some weird stunts, don't even ask me why two grown men thought this was a good idea while drunk or how they got this idea. Anyway long story short my husband landed on his head, so A and another friend helped him inside and onto the coach to rest for a bit. He had fallen to sleep and an hour later he was back up while everyone was outside S was inside in the kitchen when my husband walked past, now from what he told me later in his very drunken stage say S's hair and thought it was me, S's hair which is a little lighter and same length as mine, he thought I had changed my mind and came to the party and didn't bother to stop and think he went over to S to cuddle her from behind for a second S was shocked but when my hubby said I love you all drunkenly she decided to peruse her feelings for him, she turned around and practically made out with him after a couple minutes before asking which room they were staying in, S pretty much dragged him to the bedroom, when C had come back into her house she noticed my hubby had moved from the couch and freaked but she called out to A who then raced into the house to start looking for my husband, before they hear a flirtatious giggle down the hallway and went to find out where they found my hubby unzipping S's dress, when S found them standing in the doorway to the guest room for which she smirked at them and told them to get lost, A had to practically drag my hubby out of the room, while C told S to leave her home. After that everyone went home and A and C focused on getting my hubby sober, when he managed to sober up a lot A asked him if he remembered what he did and for which my hubby sat silent for a couple minutes before bursting into tears and cried for hours. This all shocked me when when A and C told me, 
I'm not mad in any way at my husband and all honesty people are going to be mad at me but I've seen my hubby bad and he is like a fifth child, also over the fact that even sober this would never have happened I feel he made a mistake and clearly has broken him, even though I've tried telling him I'm not mad him, but it still seems heavy on him, I am mad at S and try to find her on social media, C told me she follows me on Instagram, and I checked that account but it seems that C only set it up to follow my account, don't know why I only post pictures of my kids, but then I found another account with comments from friends from back in OK I'm guessing. But I also found her boyfriend, but then I remembered she said she was single, all these photos of S and her boyfriend are very recent, so why would she hide being in a relationship? I want to tell him what she did, but don't know how to start. New story. My husband asked out another girl on a date. This is a long story and I am very nervous to post this so sorry if it drones on a lot. Met this guy and has great. We're dating for about a year of long distance and I break it off because long distance sucks. Two days later we get back together because we decided that long distance is the problem and not us so he moves out to me. During the two days that we broke up he meets this girl and they make out a little and exchange numbers but don't do anything serious. I'm alright with that, we were broken up. Fast forward four years. Things actually worked out and we got married six months ago. But every now and then he texts this girl. Sometimes it's innocent friend-like texts that I don't care about and other times it's more. Him telling her how beautiful she is, how hot she looks, asking her for photos, asking her as he can come see her, and most recently, he asked her out on a date. She turned him down as she now has a boyfriend. You may be thinking how do you know all of this? Because I am a horrible wife with trust issues and I steal his phone when he's not looking to obsessively read through his texts and check up on him. For the record, I know this is shitty and horrible and I shouldn't read through his texts because I'm going to find something that I don't want to see but I am almost addicted and don't know what to do. We thought about this before. When I saw that he was texting her all the time and she was writing him love letters in the mail. When she showed up to his work, when we lived in a different state. When she was sending him very sexually explicit messages but he deferred her. It always ends the same. I am a horrible partner for sneaking around and reading through his phone, which I am, and he is just sad and wants friends. They're just friends. I promise to stop reading through his phone and he promises nothing because in his mind he has done nothing wrong. I keep going through his phone and he just starts deleting messages between them. Now the thing is, he isn't physically cheating on me with her. She lives four hours away and there is never time to drive over there and back. He isn't cheating but to me it feels like he's saving her. She doesn't know I exist. This I can gather from the text and from the fact that I have literally met every other person in his life except for her. She thinks he is single and has been for the last four years? When I ask him about this he says that they don't talk about that kind of stuff. I'm unsure if given the chance he would actually cheat. I am looking for advice. I see a couple options in front of me and none of them look good. Confront him. Which will end up like every other time and start the repetitive process all over again. Forget it. He isn't actually cheating so I could move on and not worry about it. But honestly keep secretly stressing about it and checking his phone. Get crazy. Go complete crazy wife status and do something stupid like messaging her on Facebook or changing her number in his phone to a free app phone number and pretending to be her. Let's me honest. I can't do this and it would blow up in my face 100%. Ultimatum. I hate ultimatums and if I make him choose between us he will choose her out of spite. I know him this much. File for divorce. I love this guy. Has perfect for me in every way except for this shit. I don't want to get divorced and believe in working through problems. I feel stuck. And helpless. And I can't talk to any of my friends about this out of fear of judgment, so here I am Reddit. Begging for help.